Hey, what's going on there folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back here with an update video on this wonderful Thursday, June 29, 2023. It's about 11.13 a.m. West Coast time. Latest activity here shows some movement up into the Alaska area uh, with a 3.8 earthquake coming in on the Earthquake 3D globe. Now, we did have a little bit of uh, activity, I think, down into Australia. Now, USGS is not picking up on it. Uh, the only folks that reported this earthquake um, outside the Melbourne, Australia area is the EMSC, um, but the parameters have not been re reviewed yet. Uh, the data provider is gonna be through the Australia folks here. Uncertain, though, on if this was a legit earthquake or not, folks. Uh, let me know on if you guys felt it or not. Um, it's still showing up here on the map. As far as a 4.6, just outside the Melbourne area at about 7 kilometers deep. Now, um, you know, there's many other different things we can check uh, to see if this is a legit earthquake. It looks like it is. I mean, according to the... Uh, Australia folks I'm still kind of uh, discovering this site out so I'm um, just going to back that out but let me know folks if you did feel it uh, USGS not reporting it uh, and I really didn't see it showing up here on the GeoNet servers either but then again uh, 4.6 may not show up here uh, across the New Zealand area but uh, definitely watch that and uh Let's see, I guess we could go to testimonies, right? And see what's going on. So, a few folks. Okay, it looks like we do have quite a few uh, folks reporting that. So, it looks like a legit earthquake. So, one witness said, Heard it coming. Doors and windows chattering, rolling for extended period after passing. Uh, it looks like there's quite a bit. It seemed to last for about 10 seconds. So, all right. Looks like that's a legit earthquake. Not for sure why the USGS isn't picking up on it, but hey, it's Monday, right? Well, no, it's Thursday, so I'm not for sure why they're not picking up on it, folks. Not even on the Earthquake 3D globe. All right, uh, let's see. What else do we have going on around the world? Still seeing some movement out here across the Fiji Islands area, uh, which uh, is still seeing some deeper movement quakes, including a 4.2. Uh, earlier this morning, it looks like 556 kilometers deep. I believe the strain is increasing here inland uh, into the intra areas. That earthquake this morning in Melbourne area is an intra plate earthquake away from the main plate boundary. So I believe things are definitely stressed out here across the area of New Zealand. We definitely got to watch uh, this area for some further movement. Nothing showing up here across the uh, GeoNet servers for now couple smaller microquakes but that's about it uh, let's see around the Philippines things kicking off as well uh, most of this movement from earlier this morning it looks like the 4.6 coming in uh, to the area the latest quake one earthquake from yesterday there in the Kuril Kamchaka trench let's see what's going on here across the big island most of the activity confined here to the big island the Pahala area uh, nothing changing there across the Kilauea Volcano region yet. And uh, some earthquakes down into the South America region. That's major going on there. A little bit of activity across Puerto Rico. Looking at the states here, um, getting a little bit of activity here on the northern segment of the San Andreas Fault from earlier this morning. It looks like a 2.3. Uh, let's bring up the 2.5 map and above, and we'll see what we have going on. I am on the mobile mobile device today. Uh, so live stream, of course, is up and running, but I'm not able to get to that. Um, but I am going to do an update as expected, right? And that's why I'm here. Uh, things across the West Coast right now are relatively quiet. There's not a whole lot going on. Very small microquake activity. Some movement out in Oklahoma and Texas, but... Uh, I think the main part, folks, is around this area, around this plate boundary. You need to watch this pretty closely. Uh, Yellowstone National Park. Uh, it's weird. It works fine on this computer, but on my home computer, it doesn't want to work. It makes me think I'm being, uh, what is it called, shadow banned? Just from the site. Uh, anyway, uh, activity. What do we have going on for activity? Nothing going on across borehole. This is some type of uh, 
outside interference. I'm not going to go into all this again like I did last night. Uh, there is thunderstorm activity that's going to be kicking up this afternoon. Watch for that to show up here. Uh, but for the most part, earthquake activity, quiet. Now, this activity does not look like earthquake movement. It does not look like magma movement. It looks like a default or a defunctional seismograph station there. So it doesn't look like anything um, of useful information. Otherwise, if you think about it, right, all that activity would be showing up locally, and it's not. All right, uh, Storm Prediction Center here. Wait, let's go back to the uh, space weather page here where we had an M-flare kickoff just a short time ago from our big bad sunspot that's currently facing the Earth. It's looking like it might want to blast off an X-flare. There's the sunspot um, M-flare that kicked up here. A little slow out here where I'm at right now, but it's okay. An M, I think it was about an M2.4. Oh, no, M3.8, it looks like. We're steadily um, rising here on the graph, indicating some... Um, activity that's continuing to increase. That's why I said the likelihood maybe of a next flare from the sunspot region could be uh, in the near future. So that's going to be this area right about here. Pretty massive, ginormous, looking uh, like a giant spider on the sun with all those magnetic arms stretching off of it. It is a massive sunspot, 3354. And it looks like uh, the latest imagery here, uh, it continues to hold steady and grow on this northern area of the sunspot region. So we'll definitely watch that uh, for some you know, potential X-flare possibilities. All right, folks, stay safe out there. And uh, if you are down there in Australia, let me know kind of what it felt like. I'm kind of curious to see um, what the responses will be from you guys there. In the meantime, have a good night or a good afternoon, good morning, wherever you're at. We'll catch you guys back out here tonight. And uh, uh, we'll chat a little bit about the uh, Cascadia subduction zone and why we see so much earthquake activity over here on the western side of the plate compared to areas on the east. It's actually a pretty simple explanation, but we'll go into that a little bit later tonight. Enjoy your Thursday. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tonight, guys.